Aquarius, the song I was playing for you is bottom. It's funny, the song I was playing right before this one was I'm trying to fuck. And then your last reading, it's almost like someone is trying to, it's like someone trying to get in good with you. With, and they don't have good intentions with you, basically. You know what that means for you if you're dealing with a situation or you're involving yourself in a space or an environment like that. You could be the one with, you don't have good intentions. You put your foot in the shoe, that fits you. Yeah, the first card out, five of wands in reverse. You're not in conflict about something. And now, whether you got to the bottom of something or it's like you may already have been at the bottom. So it's like you now you may have moved out of that space and you're in a new awareness. Now that you're in a new awareness about a situation, you already been at a, the, your lowest point regarding how you thought about something or just experiencing and investing in your reality in general. Now that you, there's no need for conflict. That's like you already been through the worst type shit. So you're not in conflict about some shit. You just in a certain knowing or understanding and you fixated in that. Or in the past, you were stuck in a certain type of knowing or you just were fixed in your position. It's like your last one. It's like someone wanted to move you and you, you're, you're, it's like you're unmovable or unconvincible in whatever energy you're in, whatever you're doing, whether that involves your work, involves your career, involves your relationship, involves your friendship, involves whatever you're associating yourself with. It's almost like if it's you versus you, you could be in a position where you're expressing something, you're showing something, and you're not in conflict because of what you're expressing. It's like whatever you're doing, it, this is almost like you you were at the bottom, this was all you had left type shit. Whatever we talking about, whether this is the word, whether this is the last action or if you were in a relationship, the last passion you, you it's almost like the last thing you and your but you you might have been through hell and high water with your partner the, the, whatever this imagination is this is what's keeping y'all together type shit you feel me it's like that that's why you're not in conflict because y'all got this whatever we talking about if it's or if it's you and you don't you're not in a relationship it's just you got a certain you've been you've been through a lot and you're in a certain type of place because you have a certain type of vision that's not keeping you in. It's it's like that's what's pulling you out of conflict. You go back to this thought or you, you continue to express or invest yourself in this space, this energy, this whatever we talking about. You feel me? Put your foot in it and you're, it's like you're unmovable in that space. Rap save me. Yeah, whatever you rap it. It don't even I know. It don't even gotta be vulgar. You could just be doing. You could be doing something with your hands. Do something with your legs, or you could actually be rapping. You 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 into music. You you doing that. You expressing or investing your time and energy. Your your fire in that is what's keeping you out of trouble. You feel me? You might be in a position where you, yeah, if you weren't doing this, you would be outside type shit. You feel me? Whatever we talking about. You know what you got going on, Aquas. You got a creative back. Yeah, I'm t I told you. And it's like you are, you're unmovable in that feeling. And, that, and that's being received from whatever, in whatever situation we talking about. It's on back to the relationship example. If it's like, and it's like you still can't nobody change how you feel. With, with, with this, can't nobody change how you feel about your partner or whatever you invested in or what you give it. You feel me? Whatever you're doing, it's like you're, it's displayed through your emotional expression or through your action. 
and whatever you you might have felt weak about something in the past but now that you threw that now that you passed that it's like now it's almost like a trying me type energy you feel me Put your foot though. Or so if it's you versus someone outside of you, someone outside of you could be displaying emotions they have regarding a passion or idea about a space with you. Or just, it's like you could be investing in your passion or you have a certain imagination and or idea about a situation. And it's like your external world could be displaying it's almost like they people are fucking with you. Basically, whatever you're doing, folks is fucking with you. <laughs> I'll keep it like that. That's too. We ain't gonna talk about it, but I, people are fucking with you. We just gonna say, and yeah, we ain't gonna say nothing else about that. And then we're just gonna keep saying, keep rolling with that. Whatever you're doing, again, whatever rap saved you, whatever you're doing, yeah, I'm, look, this shit showed its face though. It came back. This was one of the cards that fell out. Yeah, whatever you're doing, people are fucking with you. It's whatever saving you, whatever you're giving, whatever star you're invested in right now, knowing, idea, perspective, awareness, whatever you fixated on, keep doing that. Whether you're just doing something for self, then it's bringing you life. And because whatever you're doing for you is bringing you life, it's bringing life to your external world. You're not in conflict because of whatever you're doing. You might be, you might be in this, you might be the Aquarius, or you be in the type situations where if you you weren't doing this, you would be up to no good type shit. You feel? Well, if that's for you, then so be it. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, look, that shit, the way that shit came out was kind of wild. <laughs> hey, put your foot in the shoe that fit you, though. Something could have, you could have been in a situation that wasn't healing for you. That was you in reverse there, Aqua. You feel me? You showed your face in your own shit. I'm from the gutter, and the last one I was playing for you was bottom. It's like you're not in conflict. In order to know where you're going, you you got to know where you came from. I said that first. Um, you might be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. One of them two. Put your foot in the shoe that fits you. Or you just have that. That's the energy you're expressing in, in your Taurus. You're fixed. And it's almost like you're in a balanced state regarding whatever you're investing or you, investing in or giving your time and energy to. You feel me? Yeah, that's way too much. We ain't gonna talk about that. I lost my train of thought for the last one. Look. Hey, you get you let something go. Or you can't hold on to a certain type of mind. You being in this energy, you can't hold on to that perspective, that truth, or those truths, what you once thought was true, or a certain type of ideal, or you feel me? Whether it was something you were communicating, something you were doing, in order for you to give time to that, you gotta you got you gotta subtract time from that. And you may have been in a position where you once upon a time you did want to let go of that, but you may be doing that. And someone that's playing for you is stay. If it's you versus someone outside of you, then it's like you could be you're not in conflict and you're expressing in new ideas or new perspectives or new visions about whatever you got going on, whatever you see or it's like you're going for it and people are fucking with you. Someone outside of you, it's like someone outside of you had to either let go of you or lost you, and but they want you to stay. Put your foot in the street, I bet you. I feel like in your last one, I said you might have... Uh, if I didn't say this for you, I said it for Capricorn. It's like you got some scars. You might if you if you if you lost something, it's like something got ripped away from you. But it that brought you out of some sort of conflict. If it's you versus someone outside of you in the sense with in the sense where you're no you're not in conflict and you're investing in passion, look, this was in your last one in reverse, and it was the second card. It's like you took a leap of faith because you're not in conflict and you're in a certain type of position and 
you're you're looked upon in some way, shape, or form when it comes to a category in life or just regardless to your mind. You have a certain you refer back to this experience before you make a judgment with your lesser thoughts, your lower ideas, or your other expressions. And I you feel me? And that is putting you in the position to let go of things. Or it's because you had to let go of something. You know what I mean for you, Aqua? Y'all get it. My fellow air signs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all get it. Mm -hmm. If it's you versus someone outside of you, it's like someone outside of you was lying and that put them in a position to lose something. But they want you to stay. You know what that means for you. If you're dealing with somebody in a situation like that, they're awkward. It's like, I, and that, I would say if it's you versus you, you, I don't need, because you're not in conflict about nothing. You invested in a, a passion, a vision. Crypto is the son that's playing for you. It's like you're in a new, you already in a new space. You took a leap of faith in your past. It's like someone outside of you feel weak because of some lies. And it's like, because of lies, something was lost. Whether that you, if it's you versus you, then you were lying. But it it's all, it's the same Phoenix energy where it's like, you're not going to let that hold you back though. If it's you versus someone outside you, someone outside you could have been expressing dishonesty towards you. Or it's like someone was trying to lie about you and it didn't even reach you. Or it didn't even phase you. You know, look, you know what we're talking about. Bussin'. 